Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. And this time on the Magic Roundabout, what I've got is Dinky Toys Rolls Royce Phantom 5 or Phantom V, whichever you prefer. So, so as you watch it go around, try to say hello to my friends of the channel. Welcome back. Any reason you join things, welcome aboard. Thank you very much for joining, much appreciated. Um, yeah, I do hope you like watching my videos, uh, leaving comments and so on. All else was the channel. So anyway, is what I'm going to do next. Um, not too bad condition. Some reason I go to turn up a bit, put some chrome bits here and there on it. But anyway, so without further ado, let's get off the magic and on the bench now. Have a look at it. See you all there. Right, here we are then. So you've got a Dinky Toys Rolls Royce. Phantom V or Phantom 5. Screw base fitting. So let's get into that. Oh, nice and easy one to get into. Side of it. Right, so the base comes off, remember rightly, so lift the front up and uh, you know, I'm gonna just put a little, little slot on the back there which fits underneath like so. Okay, both like that. Now yeah, nice and easy. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's definitely painted over, definitely painted over. See, dark red on the inside. We painted sort of black on the outside. Yeah, so somebody's had a go at this at some point. Interesting. So bumpers and grill off as usual. When it falls out in two halves, as they do on these. Uh, as usual when you take a base off, the doors fall out at the same time. Get all the doors loose and get the interior out as well. Right, the use just it's not usually if you just fall out. Do not on these. There's one door out, another door out. Three doors out, and in a moment, it's good feeling this coming out, you little bugger. And there we go. Right, so back bump off as well, which looks like it's been fixed in, or somebody's had a go at it here. So, you might need to fill it out of that. Yeah, it looks like it. Right, so we've definitely had a go at that one, that's for sure. So let's try and push that off. A bit of force. Any plastic. Oh, my God. Oh, broken off. Yeah. So I'm not too bothered about that. As long as I've got the front one. Yeah, it's all broken off, look. So somebody's glued it on there and... Yeah, so it's definitely no good. So it's the end of that one. Anyway, interior now. Comes up, nice and easy. And a glass oh, boot as well, don't forget that, it comes off. Glass just fall out, both like that. So the only bit we're saving here is a is the glass really. So that's a casting. Uh, so four doors and bonnet and boot lid and that's it all right so caustic soda bath time then see you soon right okay so i've got all the bits back from the paint stripper um the door cards 
fell out whilst in the strippers as well. So they became unusable, but I've got spares anyway if anybody needs them. Um, yeah, so got your boot lid, got your bonnet there, two halves, and one, two, three, and four. Okay, I'll push up the body as much as I could. Um, what I'm going to do next is As per usual, I'm just going to do a bit of cutting off camera because it's fiddly to do it on camera. I'm just going to cut a little bit of the wings off, the corner bits, um, just below the headlights. Okay, and on the corners here, both sides. Um, yeah. Well, let's see after that. Right, okay, right, so I've cut the wings, you can just see it there, cut a little bit of front off as well, let's have a wing done as well, uh, I've done the grill and the bumper, I've trimmed that down, let's just see, see that, that's, that's it trimmed down nicely, okay, um, so I've put two of the doors on, and glued them in place just for now, before getting plated up, Right, we'll do the other side now. Right, so the driver's door just slots into place like so. I think that's the right door. Uh, yeah, it is, yeah. Right, so the hinge goes inside. Yeah, that way up, yep. So it goes in there. Glove doors went on nice and quickly. Right, so that's that one in place. Oops, that's that one in place. Okay, right, so I'm going to do another one. Do, 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 do. Right, so that way up. Okay. So it goes in there like that. And closes up nicely, just about. Let's just get that bit straighter. Here we go. Well, I'm going to do the same with these two doors, just glue them up so they don't flap about and fall out. Right. Harden the glue. So I will get his plated up when all the doors are on and the boot lid. Well, I'm not done interior yet, I'm going to do that afterwards. Alright, boot lid. So that goes, the hinge goes in there like so. Oops, lazy, like that. Again, I'm just going to go it in place, stop it falling out. Like that. Okay. Right. There you go. Don't need too much activator on it. Okay. Right, the body's going to be a bit tricky because it's in two halves. So. Do, 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 So it goes together like that. So. Let's 
So, dum, 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 dum. I don't know which way goes which, to be honest. It just fell out as I was taking it apart. Boom, 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 boom. So it sits on there. Okay, like like that of sorts. I think what I might have to do is I might glue one side in first. So that so that side's got a hinge on it, and I think the one the pin sits over it. So in that case then Yeah, I think I'm gonna Glue that in place and be easier. Like that. Okay. And try and hold it there. If I get these tweezers, wherever they are, wherever they've gone. Nearly tweezers have vanished. Boxing. Right. So, I'll put that in place. Mm, yeah, I don't think it's gonna work, is it? So I'm trying not to get part stuck to my fingers. Like that. Right, activate that. Okay. Right, I'm glue the other piece on. Pin goes over the hinge like that. Like there you go. What the hell was that? Right, so that's that. Right. Just gonna get some bonnet plates and door plates made up. And then I'll be right back. See you shortly. Right, okay, got me plates ready. So I'm gonna do the corner ones on the bonnet first. So a bit of glue there. Like so on the corner there. That's the first one. Right, okay. Oops, Daisy. Going on there. Okay. in place there we don't want That's a 
bonnet plates on. Right, driver's door plate goes right across, like so. in here the rules I believe a driver's door plate obviously on the driver's side but on the, pass on the uh, passenger side does have plates where the door is open smaller ones that's what I've seen done so I'm just basically copying that really Okay, let's have one. Right, the other side now. So you've got a stitch of smaller ones here. So one that goes across the middle there. Like that. Right, next one across here. at an angle so I'm trying to peel it off well let's do another one here I've got a spare one here that one okay bend it one on this side Stay in place, that is. Like so, that's it. Like that, okay. Right, now the uh, plates on the boot. Right, I'm going to try and place them just. About there, roughly. A bit of glue there.
the other side. That's it. Right. Right. So it's all played up now. Driver's side, um, the bonnet, boot lid, and drive passenger side. Right, I'm just going to fold these down, smooth them all off so it all looks nice and tidy. Um, then I'm going to do the H-frame inside. Okay. Right, so I've put the cross beam in to start off with for the H frame. I've cut down some matchsticks roughly long enough to go inside for the uprights. So I'm going to put those in. We might need trimming down a bit, we don't know yet. See how it all goes. Right, so a bit of glue just inside on top of the roof here. Okay, right, I'm going to get one of them in. Right, I'm going to put one just if I can. So, what I might do first is put some glue on the cross beam just to support it a bit. Yeah, like that. Right, harden that off. Right, now do the other one. Yeah. Right, get your activate, activator again. There we go. That's in place. And as you see, it's protruding a little bit just beyond where the base plate sits. So you trim that down a bit. need a little bit more coming off because the base is just slightly but just a tiny bit I might just do it Right now, mm, slightly better. We're getting there, but I reckon with the screw in place, 
that might just do it. I'm gonna save stuff, cut a tiny bit off. Right, that should hopefully do it now. Yeah, it's barely, barely it was, yeah. Yep, I think that's gonna do it. Yep, so that's that, that's in place, right, take that off. Right, give you HRA a little bit of paint on it. Uh, then we get the rest of the car in, in paint. Right, so we're getting there, it's taking shape. That's the interior. Drops in there like so. Okay, Let me just try the whole thing. Yeah, maybe looking good. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, super duper. Okay, oh, I'm gonna get the whole thing painted up now. Well, hate train first, then the casting. Right, so I'll show you that afterwards. Right, okay, right, so now I'm gonna put this roller back together again. Yeah, this roller, not one seen in the background. Right, so, interior first. Like so, okay, so like that. Uh, I'm gonna pop the grill on so it just slots, so the hole just slots over the hole where the, sets, um, where the screw goes, and that should just pop into place. It did not dry run anyway. <sighs> Like that. Oh, there we go. Like that. Okay. Put the interior back in. Okay. So put the base back on. So the back end where the little lip is just slots in there like that. Hold the base down, nice and firm. Pop your screw in. Just hold it nice and tight. Like that. And there you go. That's that. So you've got a phantom V rock and rolling. There you go. Right. Alright, as per usual, gonna add all the detailing on this, some writing, etc. But just a little while to do, as I prefer to do it off camera. So I'm concentrate as well on what I'm doing, not making mistakes and so forth. Yep, so hopefully next time you see this one be back in the back in the magic roundabout. See you all there. Right. Here we are then, back on the uh, Magic Roundabout with his Dinky Toys Rolls Royce Phantom 5 or Phantom V, whichever you prefer. Um, so I've done this in the colours of the 3 litre team, 3 litre magazine team rather. Uh, this one is number 260 Key Fennels or Key Feet, as you can see there. Now, recently, uh, Key Feet and Jack Reynolds or Jack Star, both raced Daimler Majestics at the 
Tottenham Classic at Aldershot Stadium last weekend. Now, as I can't get hold of Data Majestics, uh, this Rolls Royce is probably the closest I can get to one of those. So, yeah, it's all looks neat and tidy. You know, I tried to copy it best I could to the photos I've got. So I do hope you like this one. Yeah, please feel free to comment underneath. I do reply to them as usual. So, yeah, until my next video, enjoy yourself, stay safe, and see you all next time. Bye for now. Bye bye.